Hey, Jubilee Church, welcome to day 10 of 21 days of prayer and fasting. And uh, I can't stand winter weather. I hate it when it messes up from us gathering together. I love being together, uh, but we have to be smart as well. So tonight uh, is being uh, canceled in terms of all coming together. But I wanted to give you the prayer focus because we can still pray, right? And so uh, my hope is that you would take this video, that you'd take uh, the prayer focus, uh, and you take all the resources that we've already given you. And if you if you don't have those, you can go online on the Jubilee website under prayer and fasting and get those resources. But my hope is that you would take 30 minutes today uh, to pray, to, to pray through the Lord's Prayer, to pray for unsaved friends, to pray for people in the church, and to pray this prayer focus for yourself and those close to you. And so uh, today's prayer focus is freedom from bondage. And this was something that I actually brought up when I talked about fasting in December. So if you're interested in that sermon and getting more about, you know, why are we fasting, um, you, you can go back to that, that sermon in December. Uh, but this, this kind of correlates to maybe that one thing that, that you were, you're praying for, that, for breakthrough in, in your life. And maybe this is something you already put down in your prayer request. But let me give you uh, a little bit of scripture on, to give us a framework for how we want to, to pray for this. In Matthew 17, um, we encounter a, yet another healing of Jesus. And a, a young boy was, was brought to the disciples of Jesus and they prayed for them. And it didn't work out for them. And so that's what the father said. says, I brought my boy who was not doing well uh, to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately because they were embarrassed, right? So they didn't want to say it in public. They did it privately. And they said, why could we not cast it out? And this is what Jesus said. He, said, he talked about faith. But then he said this. He says, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. And what, what was the issue here for this guy? Well, this issue, he had an issue. This boy had an issue, and it was hanging on to him. It was a, it was a stronghold in his life, and it, and it was something that needed prayer and fasting. It, it needed faith. And that's, again, one of the reasons why we are having this season of, of prayer and fasting, because there are just things that hold on to us. It's true for everyone. I've not met a person, really, who doesn't have some sort of a, a, a stronghold. It could be a health issue. I like this boy, and, and, and many of you have health issues that you're praying that God deliver you from, and, or it could be a sin issue, it could be pride, insecurity, uh, it, it could be all kinds of things, it could be an addiction like pornography or to some kind of substance, uh, it could be anger, uh, it could be a lot of things, it could be worry, it could be bitterness, and it's just something that, that, that enslaves us and... Um, Man, we want to pray for breakthroughs. So that's one of the reasons why we're uh, spending this season for prayer and fasting. So here's what we need to do today is that we need to go before God and say, God, I, I declare, God, I want to declare freedom in this area. God, I want to, I want to pray that you would break this from me. Lord, you, you came to this earth to, to die for my sin and break uh, the, the penalty of sin and the power of sin in my life. And I, I want to pray that this sin go away. Or if it's a health issue, God, I want to pray, Lord, would you, would you bring this away from me. And then invite others to pray for you. So maybe you're praying with uh, family or maybe if your friends can get together, if, the, if it's safe to travel tonight, you can get together in small groups and, and pray as well. Another thing that you might consider doing is praying through the Lord's Prayer. Um, in particular, the, the, the final bit, which talks about really spiritual warfare. Uh, God, uh, lead us away from temptation, deliver us from evil, and there's some good stuff in there that you can pray through in this area if you feel like you're really in a battle. Um, and I just want to end this time just giving us a couple things that Jesus said and, and then Paul said about the freedom. So Jesus said this. Jesus said, so if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And so Christ has set us free. So if you're a Christian, you, you have freedom and we can we can stand firm in this freedom. In fact, that's what Paul says. Paul says, for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. So this issue of that's holding on to you, uh, we do have this, this thing where we can stand firm. We don't have to be like, well, this is just my issue. This is just my issue. Even Paul, Paul says, I prayed three times that this thorn be removed from me. 
And now he was able to stand and says, but his grace is sufficient for me. But he was praying. He, he prayed to God, God, would you remove this from me? And that's what we want to do today is we want to pray through whatever that, that stronghold is and say, God, well, I want to be free from this. I want to stand in the freedom that you've given, us, given me and declare freedom in my life, declare freedom in the, in the lives of those I know and love. And that'll be our prayer focus today. And, of course, you can pray for other reasons. So it'd be great if you take a half hour today. It, uh, it'd be amazing if you went ahead and did the 6 o'clock hour. And I know that's when uh, I'll gather my family together and we'll pray. Um, but it, whatever time that you can today. And we will meet tomorrow, Saturday morning at 8 a.m. for day 11. And day 11 will take us over the halfway point for 21 days. We'll see you then.